Hi everybody, I'm Brian Schultz. I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager for Partner Communications Cooperative here in Gilman, Iowa. I wanted to talk to you today about our new SmartLink home monitoring system. Uh, what is SmartLink? SmartLink simply uses the power of the internet to automate and monitor nearly anything in your home. SmartLink is powered by our friends at clear to there using their incredible software that makes things really simple to use. Um, we install a simple device called a gateway that talks wirelessly to smart devices like thermostats, outlets, cameras, and other electronics in your home. You can then control any of these devices with the push of a button, or let the system talk to you so you can monitor things while you're away, or just set up rules and let everything hop happen automatically. With SmartLink, you can monitor an elderly relative and get a text alert or email if they haven't gotten out of bed or opened the medicine cabinet, know your kids arrived home, and even get a picture of who they're with right on your smartphone, automate lights and thermostats that react to you when you walk into a room, remotely unlock doors, know if your sump pump quit working or maybe there's something flooding in your basement, automatically shut off TVs and gaming systems on a school night in a kid's room, takes away all the arguments. Um, so I'm going to log into a system here. So we're going to log into a smart, an active smart link system. So all the neat things that I've been talking about, you can do with the simple button based system. You're going to see come into focus here. So all of these large, easy to read and understand icons control your system. Uh, this particular system is on a vacation home on Lake Ponderosa, south of Grinnell. They're not a partner customer, and they have a pretty slow internet connection, about half the speed of our slowest package. But we wanted to test whether this would work even if somebody doesn't have a great connection. Uh, and the system is working really well for them. Uh, as you can see, with a push of a button, I can make different things happen. So I'm going to go, for example, to climate, click on that, and it will tell me what the temperature is on any sensors I have set up, like this sensor in their basement that's telling me that it's 44.6 degrees. Um, if this was hooked up to a smart thermostat, this is where you'd see the thermostat temperature. In fact, to show you how easy that is, I'm going to log into a different uh, account so you can see. By the way, uh, once you're set up here, these are demo accounts. Once you're set up, we do not have access to the controls in your home, so you never have to worry about uh, security. You control your system. Oops, here we go. And as you can see, the logins are pretty secure. All right, so we've logged into another demo account and I'm just going to click on the same thing. I wanna look at my climate or adjust my climate, so I just hit the climate button and a new window pops up and it shows me what my temperature is. Uh, I can turn the fan on and off, adjust the modes and also adjust uh, temperatures this way. Um, so it, can all, it all happens pretty automatically um, and uh, I'll show you later how you can automate these systems. Um, so I just wanted to show you that's what a smart thermostat control looks like. Again, even if you're on a small smartphone, very, very easy to control while you're away. So I'm gonna log back out of this. Very simple. And I'm gonna log back into our lake house. And you can set up uh, quick pin numbers so uh, you don't have to log in with a long password every time. Um, it isn't really set up where you don't have to have a password simply because this controls your home. So we want everything to be safe. So um, we've looked at temperature and now let's go back to the vacation home and uh, let's say we wanna see what's going on while we're away. That makes sense, you click on live video. And a camera is going to pop up, and I'm going to move this just so you can see dual windows and what's going on. Uh, so in this vacation home, this nice couple likes to stay there in the summer, and they're usually away from it all winter. Uh, so they have a few issues. They don't know if their home is secure when they're away. They're worried their pipes will freeze in the winter, and they never really use the house when it's cold uh, because it takes so long to heat up by the time they get there for a weekend. So, um, excuse me, I clicked on the wrong button there. So we've solved all these issues for them and then some. Uh, many of you have probably seen that AT&T commercial where a gentleman asks his kids if they left the house in good shape and then he gets us on his smartphone and he turns off the lights and water. 
Um, we say big deal because who really leaves a faucet on when they're away from home? We're, we're offering beyond cutting edge services um, that these giant companies can't offer. Um, the reason that we have this camera pointed at the sink is to show you that yes, we can turn the water on. Uh, so I'll do that. I'm gonna click on switches and we've named everything very simply. So we're just gonna click on on for water. And it takes just a second to communicate uh, with the home. Uh, there's some uh, thinking going on. And again, this, has a, this home has a pretty slow internet connection. Uh, this happens faster in most homes. Uh, what's neat too is in a few seconds, you're going to see um, a light kick on. And uh, that's because we have uh, a couple devices linked. Um, so it all happens automatically. And there goes the light. Um, so we're going way beyond just turning on the water. What we've done is we've put a smart control on the entire house's water supply. So when they're away, they don't have to worry. Um, you know, maybe there's a leak in a, accidentally a leak in a pipe or the water, uh, the water softener or water heater breaks. You're not going to continually pump water in your house. Um, in fact, it's hooked to a flood sensor. So if it senses water on the basement floor, it will automatically shut off. So I don't want to waste their water. So I'm going to shut that off just like that. And I'll go ahead and kick off their outlet too. Um, so that's really neat. Um, we've gone even further beyond, and you'll see the water start to slow down in that picture. We've gone even further beyond this because we're setting up a rules-based system where if the temperature outside drops to say 10 degrees below zero, when they're away, they'll just leave their faucets open and the house will automatically pulse water through their system, you know, maybe for a minute or two, a couple times per hour, um, not using much water, but making sure that, the, that nothing freezes up. Um, so that's a really neat system. Um, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit a button on top and we're going to pull up another camera. Um, so this is pointed at a heating air conditioning unit. And this house is really neat because they've installed these in every room. And we've connected them to smart switches so they can turn on and off remotely like this. So I'm going to go back into my switches. So in just a few seconds, I'm going to click on great room heat here. And in just a few seconds, you're going to see this start to work. And you can see these little banners fluttering. That means this is just showing you that the system's working. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. Um, and we'll leave that on for them. So uh, there's some really neat things uh, that we can do. We have rules set up in this house where if we go into profiles, uh, and click on Ready House All, it turns on the heat, the AC, and the water to the entire home. But what if they aren't having a bunch of people over and they're only gonna use their main floor? They can click on Ready House Main Floor and it's only gonna turn on units uh, that are activated on the main floor. Um, you can also see Home With Babies right here. This was really a neat idea. Um, they have extra motion detectors set up that are only active when their grandchildren are there. Uh, a buzzer sounds if the kids sneak out a door that's near water or if they pass a motion detector that's down by the shore. So that's a great safety feature. Uh, some other neat things that we're doing here in the near future is we're installing a water sensor on their boathouse that alerts them if the water in the lake rises too high so they can get their boat out of the boathouse and prevent any damage. Um, and most importantly for them, this system is letting them use this vacation home all winter now. Uh, they used to avoid it six months of the year just because it did take so long to heat up. Now if they know they want to visit on a Friday, they simply click on Ready House and all of those systems uh, turn on and the house is warm, comfortable, has the water and everything's going, uh, going just fine for them before they even walk in the door. Uh, normally those cameras won't be pointed at a sink and a uh, a sink and a heating unit, obviously. Um, we've put motion sensors in the house as well as door window monitors. And if anyone enters their home, cameras take pictures uh, and send a text alert and an email to the owner so they know whether a relative stopped by or they know that there's a break in and they need to call authorities. And what's really important with this system is then you actually have proof and an ID of who is in your home that's not authorized. Um, so it's important to note, this is a self-monitoring system rather than using a third-party call center somewhere a long ways away. Uh, so we're really excited about SmartLink and we're really pushing the envelope of what technology can do. But as you can see by these easy to understand buttons, uh, anyone can use this. Basically, if you can push a button, you can use SmartLink. Um, there's some other neat things that we're doing that translate well to farms. 
We're offering monitors that let you know the level, temperature, and humidity in a grain bin. Uh, and that's a huge safety issue. And we can also measure fuel levels in a farm's fuel tank and automatically notify a vendor when that gets low. So during harvest season, you're not having to worry about measuring and making those calls. We can make that all automatic. Uh, we're also putting cameras in outbuildings so you can keep an eye on things. And we're also installing a lot of cameras in barns so our livestock producers can monitor their animals from the comfort of the house or actually even get away from the farm for a special event, which I know during uh, calving and lambing season is really tough. Uh, this is a very brief overview of what's a tremendously flexible and powerful tool. And we're constantly thinking up of new ways to make people's lives easier, save them money, and give them peace of mind. Prices start at just $29 a month. So if you'd like to learn more about SmartLink, just give us a ring here toll-free at 877-433-7701 and we can talk. That's 877-433-7701. Thank you.